Hello everyone, Prankur here. So guys, today we are going to see a new problem from February Lead Coding Challenge named as Longest Harmonic Subsequence. First, let us read the description and then we will see how we can approach this problem. So, we define a harmonious array as an array where the difference between its maximum value and its ma minimum value is exactly 1. And we have given an array numbers and return the number length of its longest harmonious subsequence among all its possible subsequence. Okay. So guys we have given an array and from this array we have to return the longest harmonious subsequence. And what is harmonious subsequence? A uh, harmonious subsequence is defined as in which difference between its maximum and the minimum value is exactly 1. So in the input if you see here this is the input and this is the longest harmonious subsequence. And in this harmonious subsequence we have we can see that the difference between the maximum and the minimum value is exactly 1. right? And we have to return such a longest harmonious subsequence from all the harmonious subsequence from this array. There could be many harmonious subsequence in this array and we have to return the uh, longest harmonious subsequence length. Okay. So let's see the another input. Here if you see we have given another input and here 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, in this array if you see we have just a length of 2 which is of the longest harmonious subsequence. Why? Because 1 and 2 are the con if you see 1 and 2 is one harmonious subsequence 2 and 3 is one harmonious subsequence and 3 and 4 are one harmonious subsequence and maximum length is 2 so that is why and difference between all these elements is exactly 1 so that is why the maximum length of harmonious subsequence is 2 and if you see another input here in this input there is no harmonious subsequence because the there is no element present no two elements present which have difference of uh, exactly one right okay so how we can approach this problem let's see that so guys I have already written an input over here and this is the longest harmonious subsequence from this array okay and we have know that the maximum and the minimum value in the longest harmonious subsequence is exactly one right uh, if the difference between the maximum and the minimum value is exactly one and here if you see from this output that there are only two unique values present right if you see here in the harmonious subsequence only two unique values are present which are 3 and 2 and rest of the elements are exactly equals to either maximum value of the sequence or the minimum value of the sequence if you see two unique values are 3 and 2 and rest of the elements are 2 and 3 which are either is equals to the maximum value or to the minimum value right so guys what we can conclude from this point that uh, we have to find two such elements from this array whose frequency addition is maximum among the rest of the consecutive elements from this array. So if you see here how many consecutive elements in this array are present 1, 2 and 3. So 1 and 2 can make one pair and 2 and 3 can make one pair. Right. So if we add the frequency of 1 and 2 and we add the frequency of 2 and 3 what is their frequency addition? 1 is appearing 1 time and 2 is appearing 3 times. So it will be 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4 which will make 1 harmonious subsequence. Right? And 2 is appearing 3 times and 3 is appearing 2 times. So it will make another harmonious subsequence. And whatever is largest among both this value that will become our answer. Right? So harmonious subsequence in in an harmonious subsequence only consecutive elements are present as you can see here. So only consecutive elements are present and from all the consecutive elements in this array we can find the greatest frequency addition right of consecutive elements. So here only 2 and 3 has the maximum longest harmonic subsequence that is why we will return it right. So guys uh, if I generalize it what how we can write it frequency of current element plus frequency of its consecutive element which is a of i plus 1 we have to find such element which is greatest whose frequency addition is greatest right so from here we concluded that we have to find two such consecutive elements in this array whose frequency addition is greatest among rest of the consecutive elements okay so how we can you know find those two elements let's see that so if we see the brute force solution to this problem 
then we can easily say that first I will uh, traverse through this array and I for each element what I will do for example for one what I will do I will try to look into this array the, what is the frequency of one and then I will check the frequency of two right which is which is the consecutive element of one so I will first check the frequency of one then I will check the frequency of two whatever their addition is I will store it in some variable and I will compare it with my uh, longest harmonic subsequence seen so far so if my current harmonic subsequence length is greater than my longest harmonic subsequence then I will make it my new longest harmonic subsequence right so I will do the same thing for rest of the elements for example for 3 if you see here for 3 what I will do I will check its frequency in the array and its frequency is 2 and I will find the frequency of its consecutive element which is 4 which is and its frequency is 0 so whatever the value I am getting I will compare it with my present longest harmonic subsequence seen so far if it is greater than it then I will make it my new longest harmonic subsequence okay so we will keep on doing this for all the elements and at the end I will get my longest harmonic subsequence and I will return it but the thing is this solution is not very optimal and it will its complexity is n scare as for each element I have to traverse this array again uh, to find their frequency right so is there any other way to solve this problem I would say yes we can store the frequency of all the elements in some uh, data structure for example in Java we can use hash map right and in hash map in a single traversal I can store the frequency of all the elements right for one it is one for two it is three for three it is two right similarly for all the elements I can store the frequency in a single pass and then what I can do I can traverse this array again and I will check for each element its frequency for example I will check the frequency of one in this hash map which in constant time right search operation in hash map is uh, we can do in constant time for one it is one and I will check its consecutive element frequency which is two the frequency of two is three here so I will add it up again we will do the same approach and which is which will give me four right and I will compare it with my longest harmonic subsequence seen so far and see, uh, I will keep on doing this for all the elements in this array and in the end I will get my longest harmonic subsequence and I will return it so we can solve this problem in end time using a uh, data structure uh, where we can show the frequency of all the elements okay now let us see uh, how we can solve this problem through code okay now I'm going to write a code for it and then you will get a better idea okay so the first thing is we need a data structure so I am using a hash map over here integer to store the frequency okay okay so I will look through all the elements of this array and check if my frequency data structure contains a key which is my current element if it is already present then I just need to you know increase its frequency by one whatever is present over there sorry for mistake okay so I have to get it and whatever it is I have to just append it with one okay so whatever frequency of this current element is present in the map I am just appending it with one okay and I am putting this whole thing again in the map okay and if this element is not present in the map then I just need to put it with the frequency 1 okay numbers of 5 with 1 okay so it will give me the frequency of all the elements right now I have to loop through all the elements again and I will check if current element and its consecutive element is present in the map only then I can add their frequencies right and we know that current element is present in the array but we are not sure about the consecutive element for that is why we are making a check over here okay now I also need a variable here which is max harmonic sequence length you can give it a name like this and its value is 0 because if there is no harmonic subsequence length in this array then we have to return 0 right that is why I am making it 0 
and max hsl this is equals to math dot max of frequency dot get current element we will get the frequency of current element and we will get the frequency of consecutive element if it is present only then okay so what so what this statement will do it will get the frequency from this hash map of current element and its consecutive element okay and it will add them frequency of and it, we have to add them and we will compare it with the present maximum uh, harmonic subsequence length seen so far okay so we will compare it with the maximum harmonic subsequence lead seen so far and if it is greater then we will make it a new harmonic subsequence length okay so at the end we just have to return our maximum harmonic subsequence length okay so there is some issue i think yeah i missed it okay yeah, i think it is an extra bracket okay now we can run our code and see if it is working okay so it was accepted it was so it it gives us the uh, expected answer now we can just submit our code see if it is working okay guys it got accepted so guys i hope you like this video and you understood how we can find longest harmonic subsequence in an array and if you really liked it then please like share and subscribe and it will really encourage me to make more videos on programming thank you